Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this short reading today will help us find out what is going to make you happy. What is going to put a smile on you soon, okay? In the near future, we're talking about within one month or within one to two months in short term. So we have three groups today. This is group one um, with this carnelian. Group two with this amethyst. And group three with this green jasper. Okay, so right now I'm going to pull three cards for each group. Group one, group two, group three. Group three. Okay, group three. I already feel the situation could be a little bit complicated at the moment. But there will be something to make you happy soon, okay? Um, so I'm going to play the symbol for three times for you to clear your mind, cleanse your energy. Then when you open your eyes, just go to the group that you feel most drawn to, okay? Okay, so the corresponding timestamp is down below. I'll see you in your group. Hi, group one. Let's see what is uh, that good news that is going to put a smile on you soon. Okay, wow, it's Pentacles. A new job, an or a new job, new opportunity, some income, uh, some uh, windfall money coming in i just feel it has something to do with money and opportunity career uh let's pull more cards what is your current situation thank you universe what is group one's current situation okay so high priestess um i feel you've been waiting because you know something is coming you're very very intuitive yourself this reading is just a confirmation, double check, because I think you already know what's going to come and you're not in a rush because it feels like everything is in your control. You're not um, actively controlling anything, but uh, you're just so confident deep down. You already know. So you're just let it be, let it flow and waiting for this opportunity. Okay. One more card talking about um, this opportunity. What is this? It feels like a way out. It feels like a solution to your problem or your dilemma. If you're in some kind of dilemma, yeah, the start, a way out. If you're in some kind of dilemma, I really do see that um, in the near future, something is going to be offered to you that can get you out of this limbo stage. With the Eight of Swords and the High Priestess, some of you, you're waiting, but deep down, you don't lose hope. You didn't lose hope. But some of you, you could be waiting, deep down you know, but consciously, in your conscious mind, you could have some fear. You could have some confusion. But I do see this Ace of Pentacle has something to do with divine timing. And it feels like it feels like um you've done the work and you deserve it. So the universe will deliver this opportunity to you at the right time. Mm. Yeah. Let's see more about this opportunity. Uh, let me use another deck to just double check. By the way, I'll put the deck's links down below if you're interested. Um, what is this? Ace of Pentacles. A way out. Six of Swords. So for some of you, it's a relocation. It's moving home as well. It's moving. I feel... Um, I feel because this carnelian is has something to do with our base chakra, root chakra. So pretty much it's about your foundation, your job, your money, your career, 
um, your moving, your house, your foundation. So um, I feel it's a move. Okay, so this move will make you happy, or this metaphorically speaking, this move, this moving out of your dilemma, is going to make you happy. Anyway, you are not going to be where you are right now. Group one, so this is something you could look forward to. Six of cups. Okay, we have two six, so it could be within six days or within six weeks because we're talking about in the near future. Um, yeah, it's a way out, and it's something that will make you feel ah, oh, finally, it's a relief. And also, I do feel that this move will connect you with the right people, the people who can actually bring you um, fulfillment emotionally fulfillment and emotional fulfillment and emotional support as well you will feel less lonely you will feel supported um yeah because right now your energy feels lonely and i feel after this move this new place um, at this new place you will find people who actually connect with you like your soul family that can gives you the support these people will make you feel warm um, and taken care of. Wow. Okay, so one last card. Maybe some of you, you're going to connect with people from your past, like um, many years friends, friends from your childhood, classmates, schoolmates. Um, yeah, people from your childhood, people from many years ago. This card is talking about this reconciliation with your um, long lost friends or yeah people from your past but mainly i feel it's people you know for a long long time even though if um, you could meet and make new connection i do feel these new people that are going to come into your life are going to be people you connect deeply emotionally that can make you feel oh okay this person i know this person it feels like i know this person forever or for already for many years Okay, so it does feel your soul tribe is coming together. Okay, one last card. King of Pentacles. A very grounded energy. You will see yourself not only getting out of this limbo stage, but also creating a very solid foundation for yourself. A home. Um a foundation somewhere you can build a future with and also i feel you will be much more financially stable than right now so this is what will make your life feel overall uh, moving into a very balanced and harmonious and stable um scenario you will feel supported you will feel much more secure um not only by those people, those connections, but also by yourself. Your money is going to get better. Yeah, the Empress. You are going to move into this Empress um, energy. Okay. Let's pull one last card. Oracle card for you. To see what is the message for you today. Thank you, Universe. What is the message? Um... What is the message for group? Yeah, moving. We have the Knight of Cups. I'm pretty sure for a lot of you, it's moving houses or relocation. Um, thank you, universe. Please bring a message for group one. Remain positive. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith, okay? It's going to be much, much better than right now. You're just getting into um, kind of... Uh, um, it's like you're traveling on the water. There are ups and downs, but you will, you will move into calm waters pretty soon. Okay, so this is your reading group one. I hope you like it. Uh, let me know what you think. Comment, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care. Hello, group two. Welcome to your reading. Let's see. What is this thing? Good news, blessing that is going to put a smile on you. Wow, page of cups. Um, intuitively, intuitively, I'm getting it's about love. 
or it's about people. It's about your relationship with other people. You, uh, yeah, it could be romantic. It doesn't have to be, but definitely some people, people around you, your connection, your relationship, something there will make you happy. Okay, let's see. What is your current energy group to? Thank you, universe. Um, what is your current energy group to? What is the current energy group to? Okay. Um, uh, Knight of Wands. Interesting. But we have five of <clears throat> five of wands. So I feel this is pretty much similar with group one. But what is different is you feels like um, somehow you 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 feel like you're down the line somehow in the future of group one. You're already moving somewhere. Okay, you're already taking action and your life right now feels a little bit hectic. You have a lot of going on right now. Um, it feels like somehow chaotic because, you know, things are changing. You are changing. You are moving. Um, your life is pretty packed and pre. you are pretty preoccupied right now. Um, and I feel it's like you're not paying attention to... You don't have extra energy for anything else rather than moving forward it feels like you're busy on some task okay so let's see one more card about this page of cups thank you universe yeah will of fortune wow powerful so the fate is rewarding you pretty much soon pretty yeah pretty soon let's see uh Bottom, we have page of wands and we have page of cups. So group two, I definitely feel either you're moving towards a new location, either you just arrived, you just moved to a new location. So it's ING or ED, okay? I feel this is a new energy. You kind of is already, you are already on this new journey and the fate is rewarding your courage because i feel you're someone who is very enthusiastic about your life um you are trying very hard to make it better you are trying to um you are making efforts to make your life better okay so the universe gives you this will of fortune that will change a lot of scenarios for you and I do feel, because we have court cards here, so I do feel the universe is actually bringing the right people into your life. So with the Knight of Wands, for some of you, I just feel this could be a romantic interest who is a fire sign, especially Sagittarius and Aries. This is the energy I'm getting. Oh, also, Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter energy. So Sagittarius again. So there will be a Sagittarius energy person rushing into your life really soon. Group 2. This has something to do with your relocation. This has something, something to do with your moving. Okay, so this meeting is fated. I do see this could be a romantic interest. But overall, at least in general, this person will be one of your good, good friends. Okay, definitely a new energy, new person. Could be younger than you, doesn't matter. But I just feel this person is very genuine. Okay, very adventurous, very genuine, very, um, has a childlike quality, in some way very naive. Because this person always have a very, very sunny attitude towards life. I think you will appreciate that because you're someone who is very strong and spiritual because you have the amethyst, which means your crown chakra um, is open and you are connected with your higher self. So this is all guided. Okay, so this person actually is a manifestation of yours. So um, let me see. Plus that, plus this person um, I do feel this person not only is a romantic interest, could be a romantic interest, but I just feel with this person coming into your life, there will be a lot of changes in your life. And I don't feel it's this person is the, is the reason. I feel you yourself because it feels like you have been prepared this for a long time and the universe is going to reward you with a lot of changes blessings coming your way with the will of fortune 
okay maybe you've walked a long way maybe you wa you worked really hard for this i just want to see more it feels like your your life is going to be much much more free it feels like you are going to be liberated okay um you're going to be just set free and you it feels like you're just free to explore free to have adventure to free to explore free to have adventure free to travel um free to love even free to experience free to explore mm. and also free to create your own fate it feels like some karmic debt or some karmic um contracts are over okay and now it's going to be something new here so your fate is changing uh group two this is something major let me see so we have five of swords yeah definitely a suit a, a suitor someone who will pursue you okay and nine of wands okay so group two hand there the hermit right now it feels lonely right now you are tired you are ex exhausted things will change really soon you're heading towards an end of us of something okay you're just wrapping it up you know this uh you're tired because something is going to finish really soon and um i feel this page of cups whoever that is might be a good friend coming into your life will cure your heart will will heal you in some way okay especially past past wounds past um experiences and also i do feel this person is very um similar with you who is free-spirited okay who is open-minded who is a who is very passionate about life who doesn't give up who doesn't give in who always you know um who always move on because you are this queen of wands and you belong to wands suit the same suit which means it's um you will feel this connection you'll feel this connection very uh, basically like instantly okay so this is what i see nine of wands just want one more card for this world of fortune Let's see if we can okay i saw this so emperor okay so chaotic yeah ten of swords and ending chaotic situation will end and you will step into creating your own fate stage okay you will step into your power to create your own fate and i also feel this could be talking about romantic interest or someone important coming into your life this emperor energy could be the same person and an interesting message for group two i feel you could possibly have different suitors okay more than one because we have one two three four even four <laughs> for some of you but definitely um there will be at least one okay but i do feel for some of you it's two even three so be prepared because you are this queen of wands you are going to be seen by so many people i don't know where you're moving to but it feels like it's like a big city or somewhere that is very um uh what's that word mm, metropolitan i just feel um you're going to be seen by many people okay uh so your charm um and everything will attract a lot of suitors coming into your life okay fighting for your attention so let's pull one more card for you group two thank you universe group two no need to worry okay no need to worry simple as that so this is your message group two i hope you like it come on make sure subscribe i'll see you next time take care hi group three welcome to your reading so group one and two the message is very interesting group three let's see 
what is the energy what is the good news that way that will make you happy in the near future well the devil um i just feel there is a like an energy release from your root chakra you're going to embrace your primal desires primal life source primal drive and this actually is what you need right now by this i mean maybe for some of you i'm just giving you an example maybe you for some of you you're you don't have any sexual activities for a long time um which could make you feel a little bit drifted away from real life because um sex is a very important activity to connect with our body to connect with our root chakra and our um it's very important to reconnect with ourself okay um so this could be you meeting someone okay and explore this with someone okay so explore your passion explore your primal desires primal drive and this will actually generate abundance and um some mm, i just feel you the energy will will become fluid it just feels like okay so this feels like you throw a stone a piece of stone in a pond in a still pond and this will cause a lot of changes but it's good because it's what's needed because it's still for a long long time nothing is changing it's too stagnant um and for some of you i feel it's you getting back to your ambition okay you getting back to some desires that will drive you forward in life okay so because the devil is talking about worldly desires worldly ambitions worldly possessions so I do feel for some of you, if you're lacking any motivation to move forward, you don't have a goal, you don't have something you want to achieve, you don't have an ambition, you don't have something you want to pursue, you will find this, okay, in the near future really soon. You have a very practical goal that you really want to work for, okay, so this is what I feel. And it could have something to do with your money. If your money is good right now, if your job is going on really good right now, you will see an increase because the devil is sometimes it talks about abundance as well because it's worldly affairs. So I feel it's I say it's complicated because it has many possible scenarios. So just apply to your situation. Um, but anyway, I feel there's a fire. Okay, there's a fire lit up your root chakra that will give you this drive that you haven't feel, f haven't felt for a long, long time that can actually pu give you this push, one step, push you one step ahead. This is exactly what you need to initiate something. It's like just one step push. Okay, it, it feels like you will get the fuel. Yeah, you will get the fuel to start something let's see it's very interesting group three um what is your current energy thank you universe what is the current energy of group three queen of wands um okay so with these two cards okay first of all your current energy is magnificent okay your passion is already ignited there is Wow, I just feel something in my um, solar plexus chakra. So if I feel you are claiming your power. You are getting to know who you truly are. You are leveling up in every way and raising up your standards. Okay, which means you will see you were not putting up with some behaviors uh, from the past. Okay, so old patterns, you you are putting an end, a stop to something that doesn't meet your standards okay um and passion is already ignited okay so it this is talking about sexual energy 
yeah, with the devil. Um, yeah, page of cups. So probably it, all these great, all these three groups today are like intertwined today together. So uh, you could have chat group two. That's absolutely fine. Um, so I feel you already have this desire um within you that is being awakened or that is waiting to be awakened and i just feel this devil energy is you will step into this devil energy that whatever you do no no matter it, it is through that is through sex or still working hard towards some goal you will be the in this devil energy to attract um to glow up okay you will look amazing you will just embody this devil energy and queen of wands energy and be the center of the attention okay when you walk in the crowd when you walk in the on the streets no one could ignore you it feels like this it just feel like you own yourself you own your life you own everything you know everything you're so sure about everything um and you have everything you got it you have it all it just feel like this so you will attract romance you will attract money you will attract opportunity you will attract abundance and you will attract desire and passion okay so this is what i feel wow so i feel your life is going to be very very interesting um very soon okay so i feel this is already happening right now you feel this we have six of ones you see so you could pretty much be leo two cards are, talk are talking about leo um two of pentacles at the bottom so a lot of things are changing right now um but this is the energy you are going to be in in the near future i'm talking about near future at the beginning so one to two months okay you'll be the center of the attention you'll be the queen king of the party um you will be like a desire that everybody wants you have different suitors okay people look up to you um and just enjoy i feel this pretty much is your moment you deserve it enjoy and um let me see you just feel successful people look at you and they know you're successful you don't have to say anything it's your aura it's your energy okay so the devil is talking about success in this 3d world having power having money having authority you have this okay so this is you give people the feeling that you are someone important okay you are a very important person you are successful wow group three let me know what you think let me know what's happening um let's pull more cards for the devil you see queen of wands twice so i feel there's a lot of leos watching my channel the cards are screaming Leo and Capricorn. Okay, so for this group, it's Leo and Capricorn. Uh, this is the Capricorn card. This is Capricorn card. <clears throat> wow, the Hierophant. But I'm not going to take this card. So um, I feel you've worked for this. You deserve this. Okay, and this is not going to be like one day you look like this. Then the next day, you're like Cinderella. You're back to yourself. No. I feel it's a level up that feels very solid and steady because you worked so hard for it. It won't be like you're the start of the month, the next month it's not you. I feel you are going to be like this as the basic mood of your future. It feels like this is what, what you will look like after transformation. You will not go back to that little cinderella okay so don't worry this is solid this is steady okay one more card to clarify this queen of wands seven of swords 
Mm. Okay, so this is interesting. Because you are so successful and so desirable, there will be gossips and jealousy. That's humanity. That's that's normal. So, don't believe everything that people tells you. That people tell you. Sometimes they don't. You you just. I feel you know this. You just have to remember that. You just no. You just have to be reminded about this. Okay, because you are so successful, there will be people, um, wanting something from you. Okay, uh, there will be people being jealous. There will be people gossiping. But I feel this this is not something you should. That this is not something that could harm you. I just feel this this is something you should keep in mind, um. Because you're aware of this, so you can, you can, uh, you know, create a, create healthy boundaries. Okay, this is what it means. You can create this healthy boundaries for yourself to get away from this. Okay. What is this? Six of Swords, Five of Swords, uh, Six of Wands, Five of Swords. Okay, so I do see you will trigger a lot of people. People from the past, especially people from the past, the moon, because you are going to be successful and you, you just glow after this transformation. So definitely, you will trigger some people from the past that doesn't that don't have the best intentions to you. So um, the message here is: do not change yourself for anyone. Do not uh, lower your standards for anyone. Just be you. Okay, and you don't have to argue with them. You don't have to engage with them. So let them be themselves, and let you be you. Okay, so I feel there's definitely it. It feels like these people who are envy about you, who are creating gossips, or who want something from you, they're not on your level. You see, the energy is there's it's two two worlds. Okay, two. Two totally different energies. So they're not on your level. Understand this. Not everybody is as a visionary as you, as a uh, as someone who has a big picture or who has perspectives as you. So let them be themselves, but don't engage, don't interact, don't entertain as well. Let let you be you. Don't change for anyone. What is abundance? Okay, I'm just gonna ask. But for you, I want to pull one more card for, um, for you to see like what is the universe is wanting to tell you for group three. Within few weeks. Okay, so just the time frame. Okay. Um, bottom meditation brings answers. So I feel this is pretty much for you, group three. I hope you like it. I hope this is something that already puts a smile on you. Let me know. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Um, I'll see you next time. Take care.